The story of Jizzle Boy to me is a coming of age story about a young autistic man who's navigating himself through the challenges of adulthood, through different relationships, and then through his own acceptance. Jizzle Boy actually takes its name from Rain Man, the 1987 film starring Dustin Hoffman. And in many ways, the work is a right back against that film and the idea that other people can speak for or play um, autistic people. I think if you want to tell a story like this, it can only really happen through expression of authenticity. In recent times, a lot of stories have been told, but always through the perspective of a neurotypical lens, and then often being performed by actors who don't share the same lived experiences. And so I think as a result, we see imitation and exaggeration. But when you work with someone who is neurodivergent, that lends the story and the experience far more credibility, authenticity, but also power. I think it's really important to have access consultants on a show like Drizzle Boy because it's written by someone who is neurodiverse. It has neurodiverse actor in the show, but also in order to ensure that audiences are able to access the show in the way that they need to access it. So we've been working a lot with Indelibility. They have been instrumental in helping create the conditions for the room, but also in helping on another layer in preparing um, our front of house staff, our marketing staff, for how to make the space more friendly and more accessible to everyone. When you talk about a sensory experience or accessibility in theatre, it's often a, a secondary layer. A relaxed viewing or an Auslan interpretation, they often come at the end of the process. We started doing it at the start, and the way that Ryan has written the script is to incorporate some of those sensory experiences within the play and within the world so that everybody in the audience feels comfortable. Built into our design, there is a language to let people know we're going to do something in a moment. We hope it doesn't affect you more than we would like it to. It's less about limiting what we can achieve and more about making more conversation. Like there's layers of elements. There's the story, and then we know we're having a conversation that are people that are aware and sensitive to other changes. We're having that on top of it, inside it. In an example where there might be a, a loud piece of music about to start, there's a sound effect that is accompanied with a lighting effect that will happen preceding that sound. It might even happen during a line. A relatively unobtrusive sound, but very distinct, so that it's part of the story. Just know that if you're somebody who is sensitive to sound and light, that all of that has been taken into consideration and you'll still get a full theatrical experience without feeling like we've removed things in order to cater for people who might be sensitive to that. We think that works like Drizzle Boy are really important because uh, they showcase other people from our community that we don't normally see on our stages. Working with authentic casting as well, I think is so important to go, there are artists out there who can do this work. Trust that it will give you more opportunities for freedom and expression in the work. It gives you a whole different perspective and it allows you to really delve into the work and talk about those uncomfortable conversations and sort of dive into the subject matter without feeling like you have to kind of skirt around the edge. No one's access needs are the same, so it's nice to be able to sort of encapsulate, you know, a really wide variety of, of access needs. It's not too hard. I think that's something that people kind of go, oh, disability, that's too hard. That's a misconception that's out there. And so by doing a show like this, you can showcase that it isn't too hard and you can be flexible and you can create safe environments and enjoyable experiences for everybody. It's breaking and the stigma, isn't yeah, it, really? Yeah. It's breaking the stigma and going, let's try it, do it. And I think it's incredibly vital for our arts industry to be able to start working with a whole range of people. We need it, we need to hear people's stories. There's no such thing as the universal experience, that everyone is made up of a multitude of experiences. And for people who are neurodivergent, those experiences are vast and different and sometimes painful and complex but equally beautiful. The first thing I learned on this project is that autism is not a sliding scale, it's a palette, and that every autistic person is different. So you cannot put autism through the same lens for everybody because everybody is different shades and colors of that beautiful palette. This 
is a work that is for people with autism, for people who are neurodivergent, not just in terms of the audience, but for artists alike. I couldn't imagine doing this with anyone else but Daniel. He is brilliant in this role. I think we're making a very special show. I think that it's a story for everybody. You're seeing something truly theatrical and special that you can't see anywhere else. Drizzle Boy is a celebration. It's a take back. But it's also an anthem for anyone who's ever felt different or ever been made to feel like they don't belong in this world. Mm -hmm.